Hi everybody, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to 7.2 The Mole, where we're going to convert, 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 and learn that everything says go through moles. My computer's crashed a couple of times, so I'm going to see if I can burn through this boy pretty quickly. Please get out your calculator and your periodic table. Yes, you need them. Yes, you can... Okay, it's going to work. How many formula units of NaCl are in 108.63 grams of NaCl? We have done stuff like this way back when. We had 108.63 grams of NaCl. And remember we did the times dividing bar thing? Make my, ca my chlorine capital C. Maybe I won't. Okay. And remember, if my goal is to get into formula units, I hate grams of NaCl. Hey, two grams of NaCl, and I'm going to go into moles of NaCl. One mole is 58.45 grams. Now, how did I get that? Well, little g stands for grams, and little g stands for go to the periodic table. So sodium's 22.99, chlorine's 35.45, and I added those together. I've canceled that now. Remember, I'm going through moles, so I'm in moles now, and now I have to get out of moles, going through moles. And I want to know something that equals here. So one mole of NaCl equals how many formula units of NaCl? Well, formula unit remembers that little itty bitty particle thing. So it's 6.02 E23. Um, let's hope this will still work. Okay. And then we will put it in our calculators 108.63 divided by, divided by everything at the bottom, 58.45 times 6.02 E23 equals. 1.12 E24 formula units of NaCl. Ding! If you have 38.6 liters of nitrogen dioxide, I'm write that down first. 38.6 liters. Nitrogen dioxide, that means one nitrogen, two oxygens. Add STP. Hey, that tells me I'm going to use my 22.4 number. How many grams? Go to the periodic table, do you have? So I'm going to go through moles a couple of times. Liters of NO2. Hate you, liters of NO2. Always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles. One mole equals 22.4 liters of NO2. Remember, 22.4 goes with liters. Now I'm in moles of NO2, but I want grams. Give me grams, give me grams. So I'm going to get rid of moles of NO2 and go into grams of NO2. I need something that equals each other. One mole equals, little g stands for grams, and little g stands for go to the periodic table. There's nitrogen. Two oxygens are 32, so that would be 46.01. And now I'm going to ask my calculator. 38.6 divided by 22.4 times 46.01 is 79.3 grams of NO2. Ding! How many moles are in 84.6 grams of potassium iodide? How many moles? So 84.6 grams of potassium iodide, K is plus 1, iodine is minus 1. Oh, look, it cancels. Yeehaw! 82 grams, and I'm going to always go through moles, go through moles, go through moles, go through moles. Wait a minute, what am I looking for? How many moles? So I'm looking for moles. So little g stands for grams, and little g stands for go to the periodic table. K is 39.10 from the periodic table. Iodine is 126.90. Okay, I'm using my calculator. I'm a little embarrassed because it's not that hard to add up. And it's an even 166.00. And that equals one mole. Now, I don't do another step because I'm in moles. Woohoo! I have the unit that I want. I am finito. 84.6 divided by 166 equals 0 0.510 mole, mole, mole of ki. Ding! Which is larger, 46.3 liters of carbon dioxide or 46.3 grams of carbon dioxide? So I need to have them both in the same unit. Well, what's my favorite unit? What's the name of this unit? Oh, 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 it's the mole. So I'm going to convert 46.3 liters of carbon dioxide into moles. Hate you liters of CO2. And I love you moles of CO2. Always go through moles. Always go through moles. Always go through moles. 46.3 divided by 22.4 is 2.07 moles of CO2. And that's in the first one. Second one is 46.3 grams of CO2. 
46.3 grams CO2 times dividing bar. I hate you grams of CO2. I'm going to cancel you. Little g stands for grams, and little g stands for go to the periodic table. Carbon's 12.01. Two oxygens are 32. That's 44.01. That is 46.0, 46.3 divided by 44.01 is 1.05 moles, which is larger. 46.3 liters of CO2 is bigger, which is larger. 3,500 formula units of KOH or 0.035 grams of KOH. 35. So again, if I'm comparing them, I'm going to convert into my favorite happy unit, the mole. 3,500 formula units, KOH, times dividing bar, HU formula units, and one mole of KOH. And the number for formula units, remember that's a little bitty one, 6.02E23. Because these are small, this number is big. So 3,500 divided by 6.02, second comma, 23, is 5.81. Ooh, notice this negative 21 formula, oh, sorry, moles. So that's a small number, right? That's point oh 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 a whole bunch of them. 0 0.035 grams of KOH times dividing bar. Hate you grams KOH. And a little g stands for grams. And little g stands for go to the periodic table. Case 39.10. Oxygen 16. Hydrogen's 1.01. 39.10 plus 16 plus 1.01 is 56.11. Come on back. Ah, oh, Let me see if I can get get you to come back by playing a little trick on you. 50, it worked. 56.11 grams is one mole. So I take 0 0.035 divided by 56.11. And again, remember, everything on the bottom is divided by. And I get 6.24 E negative 4. Now, which one's larger? This one is larger because E negative 4 is 0.1236. E negative 21 is 0.12320 zeros. Okay, so that's why this one's larger, and I should label it mole of KOH. KOH. Ding, da, da, ding, da, ding. We don't have to estimate, and we're done. Always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles. Little g means go to the periodic table. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, mole of particles, and your particle choices are formula units, molecules, atoms, and 22.4 liters equals one mole of gas only at STP, and there's the bell, and that tells me to tell you, toodles.